Hi folks, Mr. Ackerman here. Thanks for watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how to insert a caption underneath or beside an image in Word and in Google Docs. Just so we know what we're talking about, here's what it looks like in Word. You have a photo or a diagram of some sort, and you want to describe that to the viewer, maybe with a little text box underneath, or it could go beside. And if you're in Google Docs, it looks something like this. You also want to be able to move it around the page. We're going to learn how to do all those things. So let's get started with Word. I'm going to delete this and take you through the procedure from the beginning. First off, go to Insert, go to Pictures, find your image wherever it may be. In my case, it's on the computer. I'm already there, so I highlight it and Insert. First problem is you can't move this around because you need to do something called Wrap Text. So with the image highlighted, go up here, click this button, click Square, and now you can move it. So that problem is solved. Now the next thing, if you right click on your PC or two finger tap on a MacBook, you'll bring up this menu and you'll see insert caption. You might want to do this, but I have a better way. Ignore this and instead go insert and go over here to text box and draw. Now you can draw a text box beside or underneath. Traditionally captions go underneath, so that's where I'm going to do it. And in here, you can type whatever you want. We're almost done. You're probably going to want to move this around the page somewhere. So if you click and drag, now you run into another problem, which is that the caption, the text box, constantly has to play catch up. So to prevent this from driving you insane, what you do is highlight one of the items, then hold down control on your PC or command on your MacBook. Now both of them are highlighted and then right click on your PC or two finger tap on your MacBook Pro and go group like that. Now everything is together and moves as one. The last thing you might want to do is to resize to make this image and caption larger or smaller. And to do that, simply click on the corner, but this is important. If you want to keep everything looking in the right proportion, you must hold down the shift key as you click and drag. If you hold down the shift key, the ratio of length and width stays the same. If you don't and you go on an angle that's not the right angle, you end up with something like this. And then you have to hit backspace or backstep, undo, control Z, command Z, and that's no fun. Hold down shift, click and drag, and you're good to go. All right, let's move on to Google Docs. So I'll start by removing this so you can see how it goes from scratch. In Google Docs, you go insert. Now you might think insert image, actually no. We're going to insert drawing, click new, and then in this dialog box that comes up, click image, figure out where your image is, add that, and then if the image is really large, it's going to take up all your space. So just make a little bit of room for the caption. Interestingly, you do not have to click shift while you do this in Google Docs. Don't have to do that like you did in Word. If you do, it doesn't make a difference, so that's fine. Click the text box here, draw it in just like you did in Word. You're almost done. Oops. Type your caption. You do not have to group it. It groups automatically for you. But you do have to avoid the problem of trying to move it, and it doesn't seem to want to move. Go down here, click Wrap Text. Now you can move around and everyone is happy. Click and drag the corner. Again, you do not have to hold shift with Google Docs the way you do in Word, but that's it. Really easy. All right, so now you know how to do it in Google Docs. You know how to do it in Word. I hope you learned something. I hope your reports look awesome. Thanks for watching and bye for now.